Patients who underwent deep brain stimulation therapy for medically refractory partial and secondarily generalized seizures over a period of five years had a median reduction in seizure frequency of 69%. So we hope to control the seizures to reduce the seizure frequency in a very refractory patient group that could not have the standard of practice, which is resective epilepsy surgery. And we follow those patients. As you know, there was a uh, baseline trial, a uh, baseline to then the patients enter the blinded phase. There was uh, the operation, the implantation of the bilateral anterior nucleus of the thalamus. Those patients were then into the blinded phase. And the results of the trial were positive, meaning that those patients who were uh, stimulated on the blinded phase had a decrease in the frequency of the seizures compared to the group that was not stimulated. Of course, after the blinded phase, all those patients continue to be stimulated, which is the, the one I just presented here, the long-term phase of up to five years of stimulation. And what we found was that those patients continue, continue to improve over the years. You know, uh, about 69% of those patients had a median reduction in seizure frequency from the baseline. And 69% of those patients also have a greater than 50% or greater reduction in seizure frequency, what we call the responder rate. Furthermore, those patients have an improvement in the quality of life and a reduction in the most severe seizures. So based on the results of the study of the SANTE trial, this therapy for epilepsy, antithalamic nuclei, has been approved in Europe and Canada for the adjunctive treatment for adult patients with partial onset seizures, refractory to other modalities of treatment, but it remains investigational in the U.S. These are patients who need to be evaluated in an epilepsy program to see if they are candidates for resective surgery, which is the standard of therapy. Of course, those patients who undergo, a, let's say, a temporal lobectomy, uh, the efficacy has been clearly shown that almost 75% or more of those patients become seizure-free. It was uh, clearly that that is the standard of practice. But for those patients who had bilateral temporal epilepsy or extratemporal epilepsy, large areas that cannot be resected, those are the patients who we hope, obviously, if this therapy is approved in the U.S., that we can provide this therapy for those patients like it's being now provided in um, Europe and Canada. Thank you.